Hi everyone, this is Richard Ekevus uh, from uh, Amber. Uh, I'm gonna cook for you um, a very uh, typical hometown dish, uh, something that I grew up, uh, up with uh, eating, uh, something that my mom often prepared. It's mussels cooked in beer. It is, was actually um, uh, one of the first dishes I learned to cook myself. Uh, it's a relatively simple dish. It's all about the preparations and when these are ready, you just, um, you know, all your mise en place is ready, then you can uh, uh, make this uh, actually really last minute in a couple of minutes. So uh, some good butter, non-salted, that you melt over medium heat. And you want to melt that butter till, uh, till blonde. And blonde means, uh, you know, before golden brown. So when the butter starts to foam and is at blonde, you add the shallots, the bay leaves. If you do have fresh bay leaves, please use them. Some thyme. And you sweat this without coloring for two to three minutes. You add the mussels that have been bearded. So remove the beard of the mussel and the, the beard is this brownish sort of thread. It's the byssus uh, thread and it's a filament that the mussel used to secure itself to the rock. Now often with uh, farm mussels they have already been removed but uh, if you have in this case uh, they are not. So it's very important you take them very firmly and remove these uh, beards from, from the mussels. You give it a little toss. And on top of that you add the leek and the carrots. Why do I not sweat the carrots and the leek prior with the, the mussels? It's because simply uh, because they will all lump together and that's not what we want. We want to keep these vegetables very loose around the mussels. Then we deglaze it with some white beer. If you prefer you can also use some white wine. Uh, but in our region, uh, it's very typical to cook the mussels in beer. Then you put it full, uh, full power on uh, the stove and uh, we will now cook the mussels very slowly um, or very rapidly actually uh, and we want them to be uh, opening up all of them. So it's important that in between uh, that cooking period that you shake up the pan a couple of times and I will show you how that's done. So you put the towel on around the handles and you secure the lid and then you give it a good shake. So you really want to have this to the right uh, flavor profile. So really that, that mild brininess that uh, we love about um, mild mussels but we do not want it to be too salty. So what we do when we reduce it to the, the perfect uh, uh, flavor profile, then we are going to end up uh, mixing in the remaining butter. And also while these mussels uh, are on the sides and we, uh, we add the remaining butter, the uh, remaining sauce, it sort of heats up again the sauce. Okay, so let's taste this. Perfect, just uh, needs a little bit more pepper and always do not add too much in the beginning. And then we're going to brighten this up with a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of lime juice. So then we add all the, the fine herbs. So we have uh, some chervil, we have some tarragon, we have some chai, some parsley, some chervil, uh, all these herbs. Pouring this sauce over the mussels. I love always to add a little bit of uh, rind of citrus on my dishes and with mussels that's not an exception. A little bit all over and this is uh, the mussels, the way I love to eat them. Really important you eat the vegetables alongside with every single mussel. Eat it with a nice sourdough bread because the sauce uh, at the end you can uh, really uh, uh, scoop that up with a piece of bread uh, or as we do it at home with some french fries. Enjoy!